Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. So Season 7 or Preseason 7 is right around the corner, if not already out as this video comes out, and there's one thing that I thought I should definitely talk about. So it's no secret by now that one of the biggest changes in this Preseason 7 or Season 7 in general is the Assassin update or the Assassin rework. But on top of that, there's a bunch of new items, there's the new lethality stats, some remakes of the masteries and previous Assassin AD items, so with all this put into one basket, it kind of begs the question what do you do on Zed now? What is the best Zed build? What items do you want to get? What are the different builds, the runes, the masteries? So I thought this video will definitely cover that and it'll give you guys an idea as to what you can maybe do with Zed once this patch comes out and once you start playing him with all of these changes finally out. Keep in mind this is sort of my early assumptions and my early thoughts. I mean once the season is out for a bit longer and people get more experience with the new changes and Zed and all that stuff, this may definitely change but this is definitely something to get you started. Now right before we go any further, this video video is going to be made in collaboration with Pro Guys, a very familiar name that I'm sure all of you know by now. I will have a link to them down below in the description that you can check out with also a link to a free trial. Alright, so let's get things started and talk about the new Zed build. First, let's get the very simple stuff out of the way and quickly talk about what kind of runes you want to run on Zed. So the page is actually quite standard as to what you would normally run prior to all these changes happening in the preseason. The only major difference now you'll notice is, first of all, you have flat magic resistance blues for all of them and no CDR in there. And also for your reds, it's no longer flat armor penetration, but instead it's just simply lethality. Since now lethality is a scaling armor penetration type stat, it just makes it sort of work better throughout the whole game rather than just only being useful for a certain part of it, so it's just kind of an all-around good stat that's really nice to have. You are gonna want to run the flat AD Quins, and your yellows can just be some kind of mix of HP per level, flat HP, or flat armor. But now that we got the runes out of the way, let's talk about what kind of masteries you want to run on Zed, of course, looking over at the new mastery tree. It is fairly straightforward, but regardless, this is definitely something we have to cover. So first off, you still want to go 12, 18, 0, obviously going for that Thunderlords. Now I personally like to get Fresh Blood, which is the second tier in the Ferocity tree because it adds that extra bit of damage on your next basic auto attack, which will of course also apply the extra damage to your ultimate. And then in the fourth tier, you can see in the middle, I get that blue looking talent, which is the one that increases your damage by 5%, but unfortunately you do take an extra 2.5% damage. I think this is definitely a worthy trade off for an assassin because you're just going in all for the damage you want to have as much burst as possible and as someone like Zed you should be avoiding damage here and there anyways and depending on the matchups you can definitely build some serious resistance so this is probably going to be the best one to get in the ferocity tree in the fourth tier but taking a look in the cunning tree the very first three are going to be the exact same but in the fourth tier in the cunning tree it'll definitely be between dangerous game which is the one we already get on Zed or green father's gift I feel like green father's gift on Zed can be quite good because you can definitely proc in the mid lane, but later on in the game when you're trying to roam through the jungle and trying to get picks and get someone off when they're maybe out of position, well, walking through a bush will proc this passive and it does magic damage based on the opponent's percent HP currently, so this is going to be a decent amount of extra damage not only just from the burst, but also added to the ultimate. And the rest of the tree is the exact same. So when it comes to Zed, this is probably what you want to run again, either going Green Father's Gift or Dangerous Game, just depending on what you feel is better or the situation. And next, let's talk about what actual items or the item build that you want to do on Zed, as there are definitely going to be a couple. So the first build we'll look at is what I just simply call the Pure Penetration build, and this is the one that I usually played on the PvE server when playing Zed, because I'm just a huge fan of armor penetration type stats, in this case lethality, so I decided to make a build that sort of just revolves around that. But right before we jump into talking more about this build, I want to kind of focus specifically about Duskwit of Drakthar and just how it is now and just maybe how it can be on Zed. So in case you're unaware, here's how it is at the very moment. 3250 gold, 65 AD gives you that 15 lethality, the plus 20 movement speed out of combat, which you'll notice a lot of the items in this build give you that, so you can have really good roam potential. But the main thing we want to look at is the passive Night Stalker, which is completely different. After being unseen for at least one second, your next basic attack against an enemy champion will deal 50 plus 200% lethality, bonus true damage on hit, lasts for 4 seconds after being seen by a champion. So this is obviously pretty good on assassins because, well, a lot of the times assassins will kind of come out of nowhere and just instantly jump on a target and try bursting them down. So chances are you'll have this passive proc on this item and you'll go on your target usually within the first 4 seconds then try hitting them with everything you have. But this item in my opinion is much better or just simply superior to assassins that have some form of stealth. 
Talon, Twitch, Rangard, Kha'Zix. These champions that have that stealth will proc the passive of this item much easier, so it's just better for them. For Zed, obviously you can't go stealth, so there are definitely going to be a decent amount of times where maybe you're just not going to be able to make this passive work. But at the same time, whenever you do make the passive work, and it really isn't all that difficult to make it work either, well, the damage added is going to be quite significant, and you will easily notice it, especially after you get your main three lethality items, Dustblade, Yomus, and the new item. The damage is definitely quite good, and it will, without question, add some serious burst power to Zed, even though the damage on this item, being true damage, won't actually apply to his ultimate. So now let's go back to the initial build we were talking about, the pure penetration one. What do you have? Yomos, Duskblade. You have the new item Edge of Night and then Black Cleaver, Last Whisper and your boots of choice usually being the Merc boots. I like this build a lot because not only does it give you a lot of damage, it gives you that crazy amount of movement speed out of combat and you just get so much penetration through different various kind of ways that it makes the build work. You get tankiness from the Black Cleaver, you get the MR from the new item and I mean it's a good build, it works. But the one thing you can definitely replace in this build is the Last Whisper, maybe with something like a Guardian's Angel or something defensive for the most part. But this is the build that you'll probably see me run most often because I think it's just the most well-rounded, just strong build overall. So this one is probably gonna be the main or core build. Following this, we have another build that I want to talk about, which is more or less the 1v1 splitter. Now, this isn't really utilizing any of the new core items, but this is just an example of something you can definitely do. So you still have the new Yomus, of course, with the new lethality effect and the movement speed out of combat, but you also have the Blade of the Rune King because you have that active effect for the extra attack speed. You have the Black Cleaver and the Last Whisper for that extra synergy in terms of armor penetration because you obviously need that. And you have the Guardian's Angel to give you that little bit of tankiness to survive the damage and to survive burst while still making you a very strong duelist. So like I said, this isn't necessarily a new build, this is just to give you guys an option as to what you can potentially build on Zed, also again utilizing that new Yomus. But moving into build number 3, this is going to be more or less the anti-mage build because what do you have? Well you have Yomus, you have the new Maw of Malmordius which now gives you CDR instead of Lethality, you have your obviously Merc Boots, you have the new item Edge of Night, Black Cleaver and then you also have the Guardian's Angel or maybe some other MR item just to even further increase the amount of magic resistance you have in the build. Because now with the new item Edge of Night, while well, combining that with Mob Malmordius and even your Merc Boots, that's going to be a pretty damn insane amount of magic resistance then, since most of the mid laners at the very moment are all magic damage dealers. You have what, Victor, you have Aurelian Saul, you have maybe like a Brand, you have maybe someone like an Ari or maybe a Vagar even, Twisted Fate. All of them are magic damage dealers, so if the enemy team has that, they also have maybe someone like Rumble in the top lane or even Evelyn or maybe someone like Elise in the jungle, well this build is going to be absolutely perfect. You still get a lot of damage with the lethality from the Yomus and also the new item Edge of Night, you have the Black Cleaver for the other type of percentage armor penetration, and you have the CDR coming in from the Maul of Malmordius, so all in all this is definitely going to be a build where if you're facing a team with a lot of magic damage, you're probably going to want to build this. And the final build, you guys know I always like to make things a little bit interesting if I can and spice it up a bit, so here we have a tentative build. This one I don't necessarily just flat out recommend trying out, nor do I really know if it's really all that good yet, I'm just sort of playing around with it and testing it. But it is as follows. You have the Yomus Ghostblade, you have the Static Shiv, the Infinity Edge, your boots of choice, in this case I have boots of swiftness, Blade of the Rune King, and the Black Cleaver. So here I'm trying to kind of make a Zed build where you have a lot of burst damage that slowly transitions to not only being burst but also being a consistent damage dealer with of course the armor penetration added while also giving you a bit of tankiness from the black cleaver. Now if you really really want to you can maybe skip out the Yomus and just go straight for the static ship into the infinity edge but I do recommend the Yomus just because it gives you that extra nice little AD that you need for Zed. The static ship first item might not be all that amazing on Zed as well and I mean you're just gonna need that little bit of extra kick to get the build rolling and that's the purpose of the Yomus. This build was sort of inspired with the current Vayne build where you go Static Shift Infinity Edge because it just does an insane amount of damage with both of these items and Zed obviously doing a lot of damage very quickly, especially having an ultimate that adds up any kind of magic damage or physical damage dealt. Well, imagine if you ult the target, you attack them, proc Static Shift, it crits with the Static Shift Lightning as well, which is bonus magic damage, and your Infinity Edge auto attack obviously crit as well. Add that all together, that's a lot of burst damage for your ultimate. 
But then you, of course, can't really always rely on your ultimate, so you need to sort of transition into something that just makes you kind of more reliable. So that's where the Blade of the Rune King and the Black Cleaver comes in, giving you that sustained damage and giving you that juicy attack speed and armor penetration with a bit of survivability. So there you guys have it. New runes, new masteries, and four, some of them being completely new builds. I mean, that's kind of what my idea is for Zed currently in the preseason seven or season seven. Again, as more time is given and as more games are played on Zed and as many other people play Zed as well, and maybe discover new things chances are some of these builds might change but if i had to guess the core build that you're going to be seeing on zed most often or the one i recommend you do is the very first one we talked about which is just stacking the hell out of lethality giving you a well-rounded build giving a lot of damage here and there while also giving you tankiness so all in all, if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know by hitting that like button. Make sure to share this with your friends so everyone else can have an idea as to what they maybe should build on Zed now. But either way, I truly thank each and every one of you for watching and I hope to see you for my next video. Peace.